Hello everyone. I welcome you all to join the course Energy Resources, Economics and Sustainability. My name is Pratham Arora and I am an assistant professor in the Department of Hydro and Renewable Energy at IIT Roorkee. I have been working in the field of energy systems, their economic impact as well as the environmental implications for almost a decade now. I have worked on different kinds of energy systems ranging from biomass to hydro to hydrogen as well as EVs and this is uh, what makes me as excited to share my knowledge with all of you. Coming to the course, we'll be discussing various things in this course. We'll start with the problem of the fossil fuels. Is CO2 emission the only problem with the fossil fuels? Are the fossil fuels going to end up very soon? Are we going to go through a peaking as has been proposed in the past? If yes, when is that year going to be? Then we'll also discuss the interlinkage between energy consumption as the GDP. As India aims to become a 5 trillion economy or a 10 trillion economy in the future, will that be also be coupled with an increased energy consumption? If yes, how is that energy going to come from? If it's going to come from renewable sources, fossil fuels, do we have that capacity or not? In the process of doing so, we'll also be coming across various state-of-the-art energy technologies. To give you an example, a technology like this, Elgal Biofuels, which has a lot of promise or decentralized technology like this where you are producing energy from a tree called wind tree. Further, we will also try to understand the economics that lies behind it. We will also be studying the supply chain of different energy technologies. Nowadays, we are coming across different questions whether I should buy an EV or maybe I should wait for a hydrogen based vehicle or fuel cell vehicle that might come in the future. We will try to understand uh, the different trade offs that lie between the different kinds of technologies. We will take up the example of hydrogen versus EVs versus an IC engine so that you can make an informed choice for the future in the Indian context. Further, we will also go towards economic analysis for different case studies. And we will take a case study for a wind energy farm. If that was to be installed in India, will that be profitable? If not, what are the strategies that could be adopted? We will take more case studies with respect to storage. This is a case study that we will take with respect to pumped hydro and storage. That is one of the most promising uh, technologies that is coming up as far as the storage of electricity is needed. Why would we need an electricity storage? Because the renewables like solar or wind will be intermittent in nature. We need to store the extra electricity which we can use in the night time. Now these uh, energy production pathways will often be coupled with different kinds of environmental emissions and we will try to understand what could be the possible environmental emissions. We will try to start with the success stories in the environmental emissions. We will start with how the problem of sulphur emissions have been solved so far in the developed world but as far as India is concerned that is still a big issue. Further there has been a problem of ozone depletion which has been solved to a great extent. What were the strategies that were adopted to solve this major problem that the world experienced in the recent past? But the CO2 problem or the global warming problem still is a long way to go. And there are reasons why the world has not been able to put a stop in this problem of CO2 emissions. Again, we'll try to analyze this problem of global climate change and try to understand the different strategies, their pros and cons, what is achievable and what could be done for a country like India to achieve a worthwhile success. Finally, we understand that any energy production pathway would have different kinds of emissions. CO2 emissions are just one of them. We will try to understand this with the help of the life cycle assessment methodology which is a tool which we can utilize for any process or product. We will try to understand the basics, the examples as well as the application with the help of commercial softwares. How can I can estimate the CO2 footprint or the different environmental emissions or the impact on human health that can occur from any product. So we will try to understand the LCA methodology in detail. Finally, we will wrap up the course with the help of different case studies where we will try to an analyze the trade-off that exists between the CO2 emissions as well as the costing for different technologies. Herein you see a case study for production of ammonia or green hydrogen from a biomass route. We also try to analyze the production of hydrogen from the electrolysis and try to see how the CO2 emissions as well as the levelized cost of hydrogen and ammonia would vary for different uh, production of electricity pathways if the electricity is coming from solar, wind or if it's coming from grid how the emissions are going to look like. We will also try to analyze the emissions that can come from the different ways of production of biofuels and we will also take a case study where we will try to analyze the different storage options, their uh, environmental impacts as well as their cost with respect to India. 
we need storage for certain in the coming few years how is that storage is going to come and this is one of the case study that we are going to take in the course with this i welcome you again to join an exciting journey with me which will be a learning experience for all of us looking forward uh, to this journey with all of you thank you Thank you.